Tech leaders from around the world are in Switzerland this week for the World Economic Forum. Dan Patterson with CNET and CBS News is covering the conference and has more on the big tech trends being discussed. The World Economic Forum here in Davos, Switzerland is really an opportunity for public and private partnerships to coexist and work out policy ideas. Now these policy ideas, particularly when it comes to technology, try to point a pathway forward. So this year we saw big discussions about the blockchain, about cybersecurity, about artificial intelligence, and about data privacy and security. All four of these topics demand their own time and energy. However, policy agreements were determined and it seemed as though business and politics were able to coexist. AI, a big topic last year at Davos. In fact, Microsoft Satya Nadella said that AI should augment human workers, not replace them. And once again, the topic took center stage. Artificial intelligence and automation were a huge topic of conversation, particularly when it comes to the future of work and the future of jobs. Now, often AI is misunderstood, especially when it comes to the realm of politics, and there is this fear that AI will take our jobs. So we saw a lot of discussion about automation and how automation uh, could actually help create as many or even more jobs than it displaces. We also, at CBS News, talked with Ben Gertzel of SingularityNet. Ben Gertzel is trying to create artificial general intelligence, and he has built this robot called Sophia the Robot. Now, artificial general intelligence is AI that is as smart or smarter than humans, and Gertzel believes that this could do everything from cure diseases to help us really understand humanity's place in the universe. So, at the World Economic Forum, the discussions around AI were everything from practical labor and jobs issues to really abstract, far-out sci-fi issues. It was a lot of fun. Switzerland is on the cutting edge of blockchain. Many discussions this year at Davos centered around cryptocurrency and blockchain. Now in previous years here at the World Economic Forum, the blockchain and cryptocurrency were incredibly hot, almost as hot as it is cold, and it's very cold here. Uh, however, cryptocurrency is kind of the new cold technology. The blockchain is everything. The blockchain is being used for data identity and management. So this is when we talk about privacy and identity security, the blockchain is being used. When we talk about uh, real estate and housing, the blockchain is being used. Uh, cryptocurrency, however cold it may be in the West or in the United States, is still incredibly popular here in Zurich, Switzerland. Uh, in fact, it's called the Crypto Valley because there are dozens of cryptocurrency startups. You can even go to an ATM machine dip your debit card and deposit and withdraw Bitcoin Cash. So even though the blockchain is moving forward and cryptocurrency seems dead everywhere else in Switzerland, it's still incredibly hot. Cybersecurity is top of mind for tech leaders around the world as new threats are discovered daily. United Nations officials in Davos weighing in on this all important topic. Cybersecurity and cyber defense were a huge component of conversation here at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. We spoke with the United Nations uh, International Telecommunications Union Secretary General about cyber defense. His biggest fear was that a polarized discussion would keep us from, from finding good solutions. And look, every cyber breach it is well reported, costs business up to $500,000. Collectively, this adds up to $1.2 trillion per year. So there's a lot of incentive to figure out how we can keep costs down and keep the number of breaches down. Data privacy and data security were also a huge part of the conversations. And it seemed, especially when we saw announcements from Microsoft and other large technology firms, that there will be, at least in the United States, steps to replicate the U European Union's uh, GDPR. So although there was no final discussion or final conclusion, we did see big movement on some of the issues that will affect millions of people. As Dan Patterson for us in Davos. We'll have much more on the tech trends discussed at the World Economic Forum on Tech Republic and ZDNet.